senior care has become a growing concern for families in Montana. Multiple nursing homes have closed over the past year, and other instances have brought questions into the living conditions at some retirement facilities. That includes Sage Tower behind me, where one former resident's story reflects the bigger problem in Montana. I just wanted to get him out of here because I didn't feel it was safe. When Janet Rivera's disabled brother first moved into Sage Tower, it seemed like the perfect fit. At the time, I thought it was well managed, clean, they offered a meal, meal still. Um, it seemed like a good thing for him. But as management changed, Rivera says the complex deteriorated, and that included his mattress becoming infested with bed bugs. I thought, without doing research, which I should have done at the time, they were addressing sufficiently. They obviously weren't. And Rivera isn't alone. It's dirty in here. It's livable, but it's dirty. Robin Schuler now lives in a senior living facility in Billings after she too says bed bugs and other poor living conditions at Sage Tower forced her to move. Family and friends wouldn't even come over. You know, just they dropped the kids off, hope for the best. Two residents with similar concerns backed up by data. Probably 25% of the complaints we get here are uh, in regards to uh, apartment complexes. While the health department doesn't have data specific to seniors, they acknowledge living conditions at facilities where many seniors live could be improved. But as nursing homes and senior care facilities continue to close across Montana, finding safe places to live can be a challenge. Well, I always stay worried. You know, I, I care, but I made the choice to move on. So they need to do. As for Janet Rivera, her brother now lives at St. John's, a safer place, but one that costs nearly twice as much as his arrangements did at Sage Tower. And I won't totally blame management because I know that's all based on funding for the subsidized housing. I think it's the whole system that's at fault. And while Rivera's happy her brother is in a better place, she knows others aren't so lucky. People like this need assistance. I guess for me it's frustrating when I see us, our politicians trying to cut funding for some of these social services. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.